My name is Cam Buckner. I am currently a state representative in Illinois' uh, House of Representatives, and I am from the south side of Chicago, born and raised. We had 692 murders uh, in this city last year, 692. Uh, that is a, a horrifying number. And so when we talk about building and creating a city that we all deserve to live in, we've got to find a way uh, to fix our public safety problem. So I've uh, unveiled a comprehensive, robust uh, public safety plan called Safer 77. Uh, I unveiled it seven months ago. It's actually the first thing that we did as a campaign because we knew that it was the most important issue on the mind of Chicagoans. And what Safer 77 calls for is an investment uh, in our community uh, to make sure that we are putting money uh, in the organizations who are actually doing the work on the ground uh, preventing violence. It also talks about filling the vacancies in the police department. It also uh, talks about making sure that we are coordinating with Springfield and Washington, D.C. to bring forth common sense legislation uh, that can help the people in Chicago. Listen, this has to be an all hands on deck effort. Uh, our issues with violence are pervasive and our issues with violence are making things worse. The murder rate is too high and our clearance rate is way too low. And so uh, we have some very measurable metrics and, uh, and data that we're going to use uh, through this plan uh, to make sure that we're providing both safety and justice to everybody uh, in the city of Chicago. So what people of Chicago are asking for is, is something different. They are tired of the same old same, they're tired of the usual thing that they've been getting for years and years and years. Uh, I'm a new leader with a new voice, uh, with a lot of vigor and a real vision for the city, but also I have a track record uh, and I have uh, results uh, to bring to the people of Chicago. This is not, for me, it's not about rhetoric, it's about results. Um, when it came to uh, pushing for a clean and equitable uh, climate change policy in, Spring in Springfield, I was able to do that. Uh, when it came to um, fighting the mayor on her broken promise to not deliver an elected school board to the people of Chicago, I was in Springfield doing it and we got that work done. And when it comes to um, common sense, monumental gun legislation in the city and the state, uh, I've been the one leading the effort. I was the chief sponsor on um, the bill to ban unserialized, untraceable ghost guns in the city of Chicago and the state of Illinois. Uh, I'm very proud of, of that work. Uh, and we continue to take on the gun lobby and let them know to let them know that Illinois is not a place uh, where their influence is going to reign. Uh, we just banned assault weapons in Springfield, and I had a lot to do with that, right? And so um, the people of Chicago want new ideas, but they also want somebody who can bring results, and that's me. My wife and I have a young 13-month-old son. His name is Castillo, uh, and we have a four-year-old Australian a uh, cattle dog named Odin. I love exercise. Um, I love music. Uh, I grew up in a very musical family. My father uh, was a soul artist uh, here in Chicago and, and had some acclaim around the country in the 60s and 70s. Uh, so I grew up in a very musical family. And so uh, music and artistic expression is, is really one of my, uh, my favorite ways to, to unwind. Ice cream. Uh, I am a huge ice cream fan. I, I'm not a person who usually has a sweet tooth, so I'm not, I don't eat a lot of candy and whatnot, uh, but I'm an ice cream fanatic. And there is, I'll give a, a, a shout out here, there is a um, local uh, black owned ice cream shop here in Bronzeville in my community, right on the corner of 47th in Michigan called Sean Michelle's and it's homemade ice cream and it's to die for. And uh, I've spent a lot of time over there recently. <laughs> part of Chicago that seems to be extremely forgotten about uh, is South Chicago, right? The, as far south and east as you can get before hitting the Indiana border. I represent it in the General Assembly. Um, there's some great people there, some great restaurants, some great mom and pop shops. And unfortunately, I think many of us don't know that that area exists. And uh, even more so, uh, the area has really been uh, a sacrifice zone and a pollution zone for many industrial polluters for a long time. And so uh, under my administration, I've talked a lot about how we're going to um, bring South Chicago to the fore and make sure that we're not continuing to, to attack them uh, with environmental injustice. Ride public transportation. Listen, uh, people know that I'm a huge uh, advocate for, for CTA. Uh, I've been riding the system since I was a very young man. I was telling my staff recently how my father uh, would take me on bus and train rides as a treat when I was a young kid, because that was, that was fun to me. Uh, and that's the way I got to learn the city and to learn the people and the sights and the sounds. And I think that that still is true today. Now, I think CTA needs a lot of fixing right now. 
uh, but the essence still remains true that the best way to get around town and the best way to see and learn Chicago for a new person coming here is definitely through our public transportation system. I'll party cut. Ooh, socks. Sears Tower. The red line. Absolutely not. Chicago is the greatest city uh, in the world. And uh, we may be going through a tough time right now, but we're gonna do what we've always been able to do, and that's find a way uh, to fix things and to get it right and to find a way to win. Uh, I will always bet on the people of Chicago because they're the strongest, most creative, most kind people uh, on the face of this planet.